at this Goodwill is when we found all the vintage Fruit of Loom blanks. Well, we just found some white ones right here, size medium, as well as a gray. Last time we found two black ones, so that is perfect. I think, okay, no Old Navy. Hopefully we find some more blanks. NASA Crew crew neck. Seems like a reprint, almost like a female's too. It's kind of reaching across. I thought this was a BBC ice cream, but it's not. But then I saw this A-Life jersey. Nice little A-Life football jersey. Unfortunately, there's a hole. They are charging six. We might even pass on this, but kind of sick jersey. So just found this Justice League shirt with literally all the superheroes. This thing is so fire. Some more Fruit of the Loom blanks. We got gray, red, red. And this is a vintage made in USA, like a teal. So again, all four. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger bathing suit. Kind of faded, but oh, some stains too. I think I'm actually gonna end up leaving this. It's just too faded, too many stains, but nice find. Like ESB jersey, all like cut and sew. Let's see if we can find any champion jerseys. Maybe not. I hate when the clothes are so tight, like you can't even look through, like look at that. Well this isn't the champion that I was asking for, but that's still kind of cool. New age tank top. Kids Vintage Logo 7 Miami Hurricanes. Super small though. Sesame Street straight out of cookie. <laughs> vintage Coca-Cola like rugby. Little stains, but this is too fire. I can't leave this. Gotta pick this up. Just found this black cutoff bin trill with zippers on the side. I think I'm gonna pass, so I think they're asking 10 on it. Got this vintage beach club, Florida, like long sleeve. This is pretty sick with the wraparound. Oh, look at that big paint stain though. Definitely can't take that. And then we did find some more Fruit of the Looms. But look at this. This one's priced 10, this one's priced 8, and this one's priced 5. Like, I don't understand. Another yellow and white vintage Florida shirt. And then we just found this reprint ACDC tank top. Oh, stains. Just found this vintage Nike windbreaker. Has a little Nike, but unfortunately it does says women's track and field. So probably just gonna leave that there. And then what is this? A Tommy USA New Age. Hill figure embroidered. Pretty sick. We got like this all over print Rocksmith shirt. Then we have this one as well. Unfortunately they don't go for much, so we're just gonna leave them here. Tommy Hill figure little V-neck. Just came across this dope crew neck as well as this bin trill, but it has little stains on it. Then this Civil shirt with like all embroidered, never even heard of this brand, Civil Regrime. Oh, it's actually, seems like it's brand new. You know, even though I just got camo shirts the other day, I think I'm gonna pick this up for me, because this is pretty fucking hard. Well, today was a good day, probably gonna spend at least 100 bucks, because we're getting like 15 of the blank crew necks, $5 a piece, and then all the other stuff. So coming through the women's section, I just found this brand new vintage jersey like sweatpants like in the pink colorway. I don't think there's any pockets though, so I might leave it, but it's kind of cool. Well guys, another giant load of stuff. We're gonna hit up one more thrift store, and then we're gonna head back home and kind of just wrap up these past four days. I know I've been like slagging with the videos. I said two videos a day and I haven't posted in five days. But like you guys have saw, it's just been kind of crappy vlogs. I didn't want to upload those. So now I'm just gonna upload the past four days into one. I just came across these Nike blazers, like almost like that vintage style. My size too, but they're taxed and they're asking like 50 bucks. So I think we're gonna have to pass. We found some LeBron 10s. Nothing too good. I think I'm gonna pass on these just cause they're asking 40 bucks. Primitive girl shirt. Just found brand new with tags, vintage Umbro track suit. This thing is crazy. And they have multiple ones. I'm gonna pick up all of them. Fake Louis Vuitton belt. Well guys, just got it at thrift. So this is the first thrift, this is the second thrift, and I actually get this bag. Guys, I got this for $10 on eBay. They're going for like 400. Literally brand new. Insane. Now let's quickly head home and show you everything I got. Well guys, I just picked this up at the thrift for $9.99. I posted it on Craigslist for $300. Someone offered $150. I said, sure, come pick it up. I'm literally about to go to CVS to go sell it to them right now. So literally $10 to $150. Just by Craigslist. Crazy. And just like that, no bag, just cash. I'm finally back home. Let's quickly jump into what I got for today. We got a bunch of stuff. So if you guys saw last vlog of the vlog before that, I did find a bunch of vintage Screen Star shirts. And basically those are valuable because they're from the 80s, they're single stitch, really nice quality. They go for about $20, $30 by itself. I think I ended up paying a dollar a piece for that. 
but today we found the Crewnex. Now this isn't Screen Stars. This, obviously, I don't even know the brand. It's just a 50-50 made in USA, but there's a couple brands, so we have the teal colorway. Now the sizes in this are mainly mediums. There is some few smalls. I think maybe one large. I didn't find too many larges. Again, just like the t-shirts were mainly small and large. So this one is a made in the USA, Vintage Fruit of the Loom. And again, what I plan on doing with all of these as well as a t-shirt is printing something. I don't think I'm gonna print one design. I think I'm gonna print multiple designs of like vintage bootleg. I know a lot of people do the Gucci and a lot of people have been asking me for the Gucci, but I think the Gucci's kind of played out. So I think I'm gonna do something that people haven't seen before or that you haven't seen too often. Maybe sometimes it pops up on your Instagram and you're like, damn, that's fire. So don't worry stay tuned. I think I'm gonna do a couple different ways then I will post them for sale I'm working on it. They will be screen printed. I'm not gonna be going like that iron-on stuff It will be screen printed. So, so just wait on it. It'll be coming. These are fruit of the loom size medium medium a gray then we got two white ones and two black ones as well so all in all a huge Vintage blank stack now. We ended up paying five dollars per crew neck which five dollars per crew neck eh, it is what it is if I would have bought them at a regular store like at I don't know any oh thumbnail Gotta get the thumbnail thumbnail So I did end up buying two items at the mall. It is the Adidas Pharrell like camo Tracksuit as you will I got the t-shirt because obviously we live in Florida So the front is like that regular camo then the back is like the human race Camo with all the lettering and it matches with the pants. So from the back side, it'll look like this From the front side, obviously it'll look like this and I've already worn the pants are honestly one of my favorites I love them. Uh, I picked them up the Adidas outlet. I think they're like $60 I picked this up for like $35 retail was 50 retail was a hundred and I believe they are doing the discount online They don't have many sizes left. I think the pants they only have large and XL. I'm a sick I'm six foot, I wear usually a size 32, and these fit me pretty nice. I probably could have went with the medium, but I do like my pants comfy, so a large will fit a 32. Size large, we have this Justice League shirt with the all over prints, with the Justice League, the Spider-Man, Batman, just all over shirt, super crazy. Vintage Coca-Cola, this is like a baseball tee kind of, like a how it has like that three-fourth sleeves. Honestly, this is low-key probably good for girls too, like if they want like that nice oversized fit, since it is long, but the sleeves are short. Fits about a medium to a large. Again, the sleeves are run short and it does run long, so just be aware of that. And since there's red and white, there is some bleeding. I've even thought about dyeing this all red, but I might just sell as is. If I do, pictures will be linked down below. Size large, brand new. We have the Guns N' Roses reprint with all the tie-dye. The shirt is sick. I love the colors. This next shirt, it's honestly crazy that Eminem is playing Coachella. I don't think he's ever played a festival like that and he's playing Coachella. I'm really trying to go to Cali to see him, but we'll see. This is a size XL. We have a Eminem shirt. Huge font, XL, but probably could fit a large, nothing on the back. Size medium, vintage Nike jersey with the big Nike swoosh, navy colorway. Now for the grail finds of today, three vintage Umbro track suits, all brand new with tags. This is absolutely insane. Like, let me try to get a close up. In the black, it has the Umbro print all over. So it's not just black, it has literally the print, the branding all over. Huge Umbro logo wrapping around to the back. With matching pants, brand new with tags. It's honestly so rare to find a full tracksuit, let alone brand new with tags, vintage tracksuit. And again with the pants, it has all the Umbro logo and then a white embroidered Umbro, Umbro logo. And honestly, these are so fire. They do run a little big. I tried on the size large and it fit probably, the pants are probably about a 33 and the top fit like a large. So the pants run a little big and the tops fit, I guess, true to size. So the size XL will probably be a 36 to maybe 40 waist. A size large will probably be a 33 to 34, 35 waist. So just keep that in mind. Now I have three of them, brand new with tags. I have a size XL 
a size XL and a size large. So we have two XLs, one large, full suits, link down below. Make sure you guys go cop it because I guarantee you these will sell fast. But other than that, that's all we have for today's vlog. And I just want to say these are not authentic, these are not authentic off-white keychains. I showed you guys this in the last vlog. They've honestly been, been selling like crazy. This is the last stack I have. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only ten keychains left, guys. These are literally the same material as an off-white belt. Off-white, same material. It has a little keychain so you can clip it on your keys. And this is the length, about two lighters, or about one Sharpie, if you could see. So it's a pretty good size keychain. You're not getting, you know, a little fake bootleg piece of crap. This is really nice. They've sold like crazy. Again, only 10 left. Link in bio. Make sure you guys go cop it. And we do have a few mystery boxes left. Make sure you guys go check out that. We have one for $30, which is t-shirts only. We have one for $60, which is a mixture of jackets and t-shirts. We have a $150 box, which is a mixture of t-shirts, pants, hoodies, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys go check the link down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Chambea, ala, cabrón ya no te quedan balas. Chambea.